In this video, I'm going to cover three important things you need to know before starting out in cybersecurity. These will be things that I wish I knew before starting out. So make sure you stick around for the whole video as it will definitely help you if you're thinking about going into cybersecurity. So as I said, we'll cover three topics. First, we'll be understanding the landscape. Second, we'll talk about foundational knowledge. And third, we'll talk about continuous learning. There are timestamps down below, however I do recommend that you stick around for each section as they all contain valuable information for anyone looking to go into cybersecurity. So let's get straight into it and talk about step one, understanding the landscape. What do I mean by that? Well, cybersecurity as a whole encompasses various domains and offers diverse career paths. There's a role that suits every different interest and skill and requires different degrees of technical knowledge. So before diving in, take some time to explore the different roles and identify which aligns with your passion and strengths. Don't just go in blindly, you'll want to understand all these different roles and see what piques your interest the most. The common assumption is that cybersecurity is just related to hacking and you need to know coding and definitely have a degree. However, that's not true at all because there's different roles within cybersecurity and they all require a completely different skill set to each other. So it's important to know what you're going into because that will allow you to know what you need to know before going into that role. Understanding the distinctions allows you to then make an informed decision about the necessary education or certifications or training that you need to pursue in order to be able to get that role. It also helps you set realistic expectations about the job market and what salary to expect and then what potential career progression you want to go ahead with. Here are a few examples of different types of roles within the cybersecurity field. There are a lot more, but I'm just covering three as an example. We have a cybersecurity analyst, a penetration tester, and a security architect. All three of those will require a different skill set and will require you to have different types of technical knowledge. So even though if you're not sure you want to stick with that your whole career, it's important to know what you'll be getting yourself in for. Are you applying for an analyst role or are you applying for an engineering type role? Because you will need different skills. So that is my first bit of knowledge that I think is so important to know before you jump into the cybersecurity field. Hopefully that all makes sense because we'll now move on to section two. This section covers understanding the foundational knowledge that's required. Although I touched on this in step one, I wanted to give it its own section just because of how important it is. So as I said, even though you don't need to be 100% confident in every aspect of cyber, it's important to make sure you understand the basics. So when I say basics, what do I mean by that? It can be topics like networking or types of threats within cybersecurity. When it comes to something like networking, you'll probably need to know the basics for around 90% of the roles. So it's not a type of topic that you can look to avoid. So it's important to know what types of topics are the basics for majority of the roles. Because like I said, that's something you'll need to have the knowledge of beforehand. Because then if you go into that role, you will tend to start to struggle. And it's not something you want to do when you're starting a new job. As an example from my career, I did struggle with a few topics at the beginning and there were lots of acronyms that I weren't used to and I wasn't aware of. So I was constantly Googling what they meant, which wasted a lot of my own time when I could be learning other things. So be prepared for this and try to learn as much as you can beforehand in terms of what will be the basics. A good saying for this that I've heard previously by other people is one inch deep and a mile wide. So that tends to dip in and out of all of the topics, but you don't need to be an expert in that topic. And even if you just understand it as a broad area of perspective, that's good enough for you to start your job and then start diving in deeper for whatever your role requires. Hopefully that's now made sense because we're going to move on to topic number three. This one's been put last on purpose because I feel like it's a nice round off after step one and two. So cybersecurity itself is a rapidly evolving field with new threats and technologies emerging regularly. And when I say regularly, it is literally every hour. Therefore, the need for continuous learning and being adaptable is some skills that are highly required within this field because there are constant evolving cyber risks and threats. Therefore, my main point here 
is that you should be ready and be able to be looking to pursue personal development opportunities and do things like attend conferences, join industry associations and be someone who's constantly engaging in networking to be able to stay abreast with the latest trends and best practices. Some easy ways to do this are things like Twitter and LinkedIn just by following people and scrolling through. It's not something you need to actively make notes on. It's just something that allows you to be aware constantly and you can just scroll and view in the background. As part of your normal hobbies and just as you do normally scroll on social media, it's just something that you should be aware of. It was not something that I used to do before. I used to have my work and career separate to my normal life. But now since working in cybersecurity, the main thing that I've noticed is that I'm constantly switched on. Even when I'm not at work, I'm constantly just scrolling on Twitter and I'll be following a lot of cybersecurity related content. So I will always see it and I'll see the latest news. And that's because I'm genuinely interested in this area as well. Now, don't start to get this mixed up. I'm not replying to emails at work and talking to my colleagues outside of work hours. I'm just scrolling Twitter and LinkedIn, just seeing what's happening in the world. And that just happens to be me staying up to date in the cybersecurity field. So far in my cybersecurity career, I've attended loads of courses and conferences and webinars. And that's just through finding free ones when scrolling on LinkedIn. And that's helped my knowledge stay up to date. And it's very useful because I get to constantly see what's going on. Getting too confident and going in with no knowledge to a job will just make you struggle a lot more and you will end up hating the job. So a good way to aid your learning beforehand is also to try and do some beginner certifications. I've already done some previous videos on certifications by CompTIA, which are Security Plus, A Plus and Network Plus. So if you're interested in those, do click the banner above. I have got lots of videos on them and they are popular certifications for people that tend to do before they get into a security analyst type role. Hopefully all of that's made sense. I've tried to briefly describe everything in three steps, but if you want to know more, do leave a comment down below or I can happily make another video. Just let me know. If you're interested in cybersecurity, do join our Discord. We've got a number of people in there now. As you can see, I've got a cybersecurity channel where we talk about all things cybersecurity and just help each other by answering questions and seeing what everyone's up to. If you enjoyed the video, please do leave a like. It massively helps the channel out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content.